guys, welcome back to another round of Cyborg Gaming. You can see I'm here in the mines over in the Harvest Valley. This uh, bonfire right here, it is the second one. This area is pretty tough. I went through here, died a lot of times, realized that I didn't want to put out the video with having like five deaths in a small area. And I didn't even complete all the areas, so I'm going to come back here and get started. So this area you can technically skip. You do not have to get these items if you do not want. So here, you can see he smashes down like that. We are going to try to dra drag him into... Oop, there we go. We got it. We do not want to get hit. He takes out, like, all of our damn uh, health. He is very annoying. So there we go. We got him down, and we should now have our item. A couple items behind here. Soul of the Lost Undead. torch I could always use another torch and radiant life gem so do I have my life gems out I do I also have some bombs I made sure I went and picked up extra um, dark damage I don't think I'm gonna need that but we might need the lacerating knife no 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 shoot let's do it this way so I don't really need the homeward bone I mean I might but and that's probably fine so I went and picked up a ton of arrows. You can see I have just like 81 wood arrows, which aren't anything special, but at least they'll do some damage. And then the lacerating arrow, which same thing like uh, those are going to be pretty helpful in this area. You can see here, once you go in, you cannot come out. It, you need to be very careful. And I'm going to try to do as much damage to these guys as possible, which I think they're going to make this very hard to do. Really? There we go. Just need to get that first hit on him. And there's like six of them here. So I'm going to try to do as much as I can. So. Shoot. So they might even come up behind me. Which I don't know where they come from. Uh, I think it's over here. Yep. Let's heal up. Ah! Alright. Now we got him on the move, at least. Just take out one at a time. Let's heal up. So we got one down pretty decently health-wise. We can take him out. And this is why I got the throwing knives. We do not want to fall down. That is a big thing. We do not want to fall into the poison down there. Let's see if that does anything. Let's heal up again. Man, I am terrible against these guys right now. There we go. Might as well heal up again. So I'm pretty much going to go back to the bonfire after this run anyways. After collecting all these items. A little nervous even just going in here. And I should be able to wear him out right now. Perfect. Get the green blossom. And take him out. So I hope you guys found that kind of tactic helpful. Um, I find it easier to just kind of hit them and get them moving outside of this area. You can see here, this is a pretty small space to try to take on, like, what is that, five of these guys. And I'm not even sure I finished them all off. I wouldn't even be surprised if there's one more in here hiding. Okay, so we got a large Titanite shard. That is good. I probably need to go back to my jewel and up my sword anyways. I haven't done that in a while. Eh, just in case. Let's heal up. Nice. Another Radiant Life Gem. 
I feel like I could hear something moving in there. So we got a spice. Tight night shard. Perfect. Got this. So let's go check out... Ooh, petrified something. Okay. Let's go find what this takes us to. I don't think I want to go this way. Yeah, so going down this way is a major headache. Um, there is one item in there, and I don't... I grabbed it already. I can't even remember what it was, but it wasn't anything special. So you can go down this way, and you're basically going to go straight, and it will lead you over here. Um... In my opinion, that's not the best way to go. I'm just going to go straight in. Let me show you my tactic. These guys are the same thing. Like, we already faced one. They're a major headache. They throw, like, dark damage, and they will just take away chunks of your health at a time. It's basically a two-hit kill on their part. If you get close damage, close in on them, they're pretty easy to take out, but... Build up some arrows here. And some stamina. Like, if that hits me, it's two shots and I'm dead. Which is just major annoyance. And we do have a boss fight coming up on top of this. So we're going to be want to be very close with the poison. So I did mention, like, I've, I've come through here already. I have grabbed some of the items. Opened up some stuff. At this way. Let's see if you can hit me from here. So with these guys, I prefer range when it's like this. You can see here, he can't quite hit me. And I want to keep my Estus Flask for as long as possible for that boss fight. And now he's down. You can see fire. Let's get his attention over here and draw him out. Where is that coming from? I can never remember. Okay. So just draw an attack out. He's pretty easy. Nope, 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 nope. Keep moving. So, it's probably that lady with the fire. We were going to want to avoid her as much as possible. Let's get this guy down. And take him out. So, let's get him to come through the poison. And that's going to take out a chunk of his health. And now I can just stab him twice and he's done. So you can see there is another one up there. And the easiest way to go about that is same thing. Let's get some range. And just hit him once. Oh. So you can see up there, they're running through the poison. Uh, they might even start attacking each other. So, just draw, come over here. They'll die from the poison. Let them run at you. Nice and simple. So, we do have a couple other things we need to do. So, let's take out him. There's an item in there we can grab. I do not like her at all. And you can see why I went and picked up arrows for this run. I, w I am using the weakest arrows possible, so you shouldn't have a problem with that, um, with this overall. It's not too bad. So let's go back out, and I'll just show you really quick if you guys join a covenant. Um, I need to research what this covenant did does. I did join it. Did I miss? Ooh, where did I go for this covenant? I think it's on the other side down here. So. Ooh. Forlorn. Okay. I feel like I've run into you before. Alright, so you come down this path here. 
And not that way. Let's come down this way. And here you go. So you can go here and no, uh, kneel and enter the covenant, offer a sunlight medal. I'm not going to do either right now. I've been staying out of these uh, covenants. Okay, so let's start heading back. So I've taken out most of the enemies already, which is really nice. So did you guys wear to get the covenant if that's if that's your thing? I know some people want to join every covenant. I think there is even a, I think there is an achievement for grabbing that one and joining that covenant. So you can see we are up top here. We've got one enemy there. Let's not mess around. That I think if you drop in the wrong area, that water will kill you. You'll basically drown. Um, we're gonna have to. Yep, that's fine. So let's see if this guy is down here. I've already talked to him before. Um, I think there's an item down there too. Already grabbed that. Yeah, so there is somebody here. You're just going to want to exhaust this dialogue. So do I have a Pharaoh stone? No Pharaoh stone. So it should open a little hidden area right here. You can see I'm hitting through it, but since I don't have a Pharaoh's lock stone, uh, I can't open it. So, best way to do this is, again, come over here. Come up here. You can see the poison is still building. Ooh, so that's where you are. Not what I want to do with a poison area. I don't want anything else that can cost me health. So. Ooh, okay. Good little juke move. Come on. Let's heal up. And a couple stabs and you should be done. He does have good agility though. I'll give him that. No. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. So let's work our way up here. Got a human effigy. I just know I'm going to die when I roll down and get to that area. So let's do it last. So you can go straight in here to the boss fight. You're going to find one guy right over here. Let's just knock him out. There we go. Be very careful with the poison. So here, if you open this, it's going to have um, like a crossbow in it. So you can just break it and then grab the item that way. So let's drop down here, grab this item. There should be another item back there. So if you miss this roll, be ready to die. Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Okay, next, I'm not even going to go in there. I died on that on the first time too, so I'm just going to come back and uh, collect those souls and we'll get started on the boss. Yeah, I'm going to give this one more try. So let's try to angle this. There we go. So you can see this hole right here. That is a trap. Ooh. So is that. I don't like you very much, dude. Okay. Let's see what else is in here. Let's see if this was even worth the trouble. There we go. Always hit those just in case. I know it's it's not a trap, but always good to you know remind myself. So we got heavy bolts and a heavy crossbow. I don't even know if I've ever used a crossbow in Dark Souls, but wanted to show you guys what is in here and how to get over here. So we get there. So let's see if I can make this jump. 
Alright, we are good to go. I'm gonna go put in a life... Actually, let's take an effigy and a life gem. So you can see I've got 18 left. Nothing too crazy. We got a Divine Blessing. I'm gonna put that on for the boss fight just because I don't really remember much about this one. We'll put a life gem on there. We still got the Radiant Life Gems as well. Alright, so let's go take on this boss. Do, do, do. Work our way up. We already collected the item that's in that room right there. And I am happy to get out of this poisonous area for right now. So let's see what happens here. Ooh, okay, I remember you. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay. Let's uh, let's go heal up. Man, I hate you. Come on. And you can see those lacerating knives are doing some work on him. Let's heal up a little bit. Wait for that movement. And now I can come swing. Wait for that movement. He's gonna roll over just like a little dog. And wait for that. And now I think I got him. So nothing too hard. Just a little annoying. He hits pretty hard. But if you just pay attention to his movement, I actually really recommend don't lock in on him. Uh, it would be easier in the long run. And you can see his movements a lot better. You can see there's some stuff up top there. But I don't think we can get up there right now. But that, guys, is luckily and happily the end of this section and the end of this chapter. Absolutely hate the poison. Boss fight, not too bad. But even doing some of the, like, the jump into the room uh, right before the boss that I really didn't need to do. And not very happy with my results and just getting a crossbow. Um... It's very easy to die in this area and the Harvest Valley in general just because of the amount of poison that's there. Um, so just be careful with your Essence Flask. Be careful with your life in general. You're going to need to kind of take it slow and use the Bonfire to rejuvenate your health uh, going from fight to fight. But that, guys, is the end of this chapter. I hope you found it helpful. Catch you on the next one.